Tomorrow marks two years since uprisings in Cuba spread to South Florida and beyond, with the Cuban people and their allies around the globe demanding freedom for those on the island. But many say little has changed since then. Political prisoners remain in custody, and more than 140,000 Cubans have tried entering the U.S. in the past two years. So local leaders are keeping the quest for change alive. A portion of West 8th Avenue in Hialeah is now officially Patria y Vida Avenue, a nod to the song that became a rally cry for Cubans on July 11, 2021. They didn't ask for lifting of the embargo. They didn't ask for more money. What they just wanted to do is be free. And what um, it resonated here in South Florida, and particularly in Hialeah. Local lawmakers and members of the House Foreign Relations Committee held a roundtable discussion with Cuban activists in Miami at the Bay of Pigs Museum, a location commemorating another attempt at freedom six decades ago. And here we are 62 years later, and we still do not have freedom in Cuba. Cubans want the same thing as everyone else in Western, everyone else in Western Hemisphere. Freedom, capitalism, be able to travel, feed their kids, be able to live in liberty and do whatever thing they want to in the pursuit of happiness. Debemos continuar la luchar por la libertad de los cubanos en la isla. That's the bottom line. And that's what we're here for. That, that's what we're here for. Democrat Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz said the fight must continue as Republican Congresswoman Maria Elvira Salazar cheered her on. This isn't a Republican issue. This isn't a Democrat issue. This isn't a South Florida or Florida issue. Uh, this is an American issue. And many consider it a national security issue as the U.S. recently confirmed China has had a spy base in Cuba for several years. We need to make sure that our allies understand that dealing with that regime and helping that regime is actually helping an enemy of the United States. Today in the Cuban Communist Party run Granma newspaper, Cuban officials accused the U.S. government of having, quote, direct responsibility for the protests on the island two years ago.